video is part of my 12 Cookies of Christmas series 2023, where I explore the Christmas cookies of 12 different European countries. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a Christmas specialty from Naples, Italy called raffioli. These are made with a light as air sponge cake batter that's piped into an oval, and once baked, they're dipped in lemon icing that becomes crunchy once dry. So join me today as I share with you the recipe and stick to the very end where I will give you a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need a total of four eggs, but you're going to be separating the yolks from the whites for two of them. Put two room temperature whole eggs into a large bowl together with two egg yolks and set the two egg whites aside in a separate bowl. Now begin to beat them and gradually add in 160 grams or three quarters of a cup of sugar. And you're going to continue beating this until it becomes light and voluminous. This will take about five minutes. This is the consistency you're looking for. Now gently fold in the zest of one lemon. Then stir together 200 grams of all-purpose flour with two teaspoons of baking powder and then sift that into your egg mixture. Now very gently fold that in, trying your best not to deflate those voluminous eggs. Now beat those two leftover egg whites until you reach stiff peaks. Then fold that in a little bit at a time into your batter, taking care not to deflate it. Raffioli are an integral part of any Neapolitan Christmas, and they usually are served alongside three other typical sweets from the region called mustaccioli, rococo, and susamieli. These are made with a pan de spagna base, which is an Italian sponge cake made without added fat like butter or oil. And Italian Americans often make a form of lemon cookies at Christmas time. And I'd guess that perhaps these are what they descended from, though I can't say for sure. I couldn't find much in the way of history for these cookies. So if you're Italian and know the history of these, please comment below and let me know. I'd love to learn more about them. Back to the cookie, now you're going to transfer the batter into piping bags that you're going to then pipe into ovals on a parchment lined baking sheet. To help get the right shape, you'll want to have a one inch or two and a half centimeter opening at the tip of your piping bag. And you can use the back of a spoon to smooth any lumpy tops just so you can have a smooth finish when they come out of the oven. Then bake them in a 200 degree Celsius, 400 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until lightly golden. Then place them on a rack to cool down completely before moving on to the next step to ice them. For the icing, put 500 grams of powdered sugar into a bowl with four tablespoons of lemon juice and then you need to have eight tablespoons of hot water on hand, but only add it a little bit at a time because you want to create an icing that is thick enough to run down the sides of the cookie, but still creates a thick glaze. Since these cookies are supposed to have a classic crunch from the icing when you bite into them. You'll know you have the right consistency when you drizzle the icing and it creates a pattern on the surface, but eventually melts away. Now you're going to dip the tops of the cookie into the icing, and then you're going to tip the cookie to encourage it to coat all sides. You can add some extra around the edges so that the whole thing is coated. Then you're going to place the iced cookie on a rack to continue dripping. Once you've coated the tops, water down your icing a tad bit with water, not lemon juice, and dip the bottoms of the cookie in the thinner icing, lifting your cookie with a fork and then place it back on the rack to dry. 
and you'll want to let these dry for a full 24 hours so that they have fully dry icing on all sides. And make sure to slide a spatula once or twice under them while they're drying so that they don't completely get stuck to the rack. I'm really looking forward to trying these because these remind me a little bit of an Italian American lemon cookie that my husband's grandmother makes every Christmas. So I'm curious to see if this is perhaps the cookie they descended from. I really love that. It's very lemony. That crunch of the icing on the outside is just perfect. And then on the inside, it's light and airy from that sponge cake batter that's used instead of a cookie batter. And I can definitely see where the Italian American version of lemon cookies came from, which have a very light airy texture as well, though they're not made with sponge cake. And this is amazing. I might start making this one every Christmas. Make sure to hit that notification bell on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the other videos in this series. And if there are any that you may have missed already, I will put the playlist to the series at the end of the video. And I will see you tomorrow. But until then, check out a sneak peek of tomorrow's video. Cervone,